So for the next part, let's click on prepare, preheat PLA, and all of our build plates are preheating, but I'm not sure which one it's gonna be printing on. So I guess we'll let them all warm up for now. So the bag that has all the nozzles has a thumb drive. It's an eight gig. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's see if we can't access it here under print. And sure enough, we do have files. We also have a little Buddha. Let's see, models. Okay, so we do have more stuff to print, which is kind of cool. But I think we'll just start with the Buddha, as that's what's presented here. So now that we know we have our print, let's go ahead and install filament. I'm going to go here on the spool holder in the back. Uh, it's kind of hard to reach, actually. So I'm just using this roll here that's coming to an end. A long way to go. Go all the way from there down to the extruder. I don't think it's adjusted. Or maybe it is. No, actually, no, it is. There it goes. So I spun the gear and it released. And it's definitely working now. All right, but yeah, the adjustment is over here. There's a little hole and you use an Allen wrench to adjust the tension on here. If we go back to prepare, we can load the filament here. So let's click that. It's gonna ask how much. I guess that looks good. Confirm. Now oh, that looks like it's misspelled. Well, that's okay. And I do see the gear moving and the filament is coming out the bottom there. So that's good. Let's turn on this light. Maybe we can see a little better underneath. So everything is heating up. Let's see if we can get this thing started. Click print. Okay, I'm not sure which bed it's gonna choose, but I guess we're about to find out. And here we can see it's loading the preview. We got all our parameters. And all our build plates are actually up to heat. Nozzle's calming down. Now I'm gonna go to settings. I'm going to get ready to move this up and down here and you can choose the increments. I guess I'll choose the higher one just in case I need to go up more. And I'm going to keep track of what it's doing there to make sure that we're not going to scrape on the bed. Looks like we do have a little booger underneath this. It's going all the way over there now. Okay, it's purging. And as we can see, it's pretty much perfect. And actually it might be, well, Kinda of hard to tell. Might be a little close, but let's just bring it up a little bit. Yeah, that feels a lot better. But yeah, it's pretty much perfect, I would say. So we we're very close. So the printer is printing. It's kind of hard to show you guys as there's a lot of frame here in between and a small little sliver through here where you can see. And you have to get down on the floor just to even get to it. And you guys can probably hear it is quite loud, the motors, as it's moving back and forth. So it doesn't seem like it has silent steppers as it's quite loud. Which is interesting that they didn't implement that. Yeah, pretty exciting. We've got our first print going. Our offset seems just right. So in the settings, we can see we can adjust things. The baby steps, the print speed, the extrusion flow rate. Then we got one hot end under four. And then the bed there. So I'm thinking, I wonder if these beds here, let's see, we can put them to zero. And just have the number zero one there, the number zero nozzle on. And I'm going to keep track and make sure that that's the correct one here as they cool off. But yeah, the thing really spun up. And looks like this is a pretty big print, not a small Buddha like I thought on the other printer. So this is a large one. But yeah, everything's working and looks really good so far. And back here at the screen, we have multi-nozzle adjustment, speed adaptiveness, and then the back button. And while we're printing, this is what we see. We do have a progress bar here that's quite long. How much time we got left. We can turn our light on and off from here, and then that's the settings, and pause and stop there. So yeah, pretty cool. And here we have the clipper emergency shutoff, just the same way as we'd push that button there. And of course, our file name on the top. All right, so I had to step away, and as I was gone, the print finished, and it took only two hours and 11 minutes, which is quite impressive because it was a pretty large print. And you can print again here or go back, and it does tell you here in meters how much filament we used. And so for this printer, it's probably not a very large print, but in general, it is pretty large. As you guys can see my hand, it's not a small print, and it looks really good. There's a little bit of whispers here and there, but other than that, it looks really solid. The bed cooled off. Let's see if it just pops off. I think we'll have to flex it off. We do have this little purge here. Let's see. There we go. It's a lot of surface area, but it popped right off. So the PEI sheets are working great. 
sticking very well and popping right off. And you guys can see we're pretty much we're perfect off the build plate. The bottom looks great. And the quality on this thing looks, I guess I would say excellent for how fast it printed considering, you know, the size of this thing. It only took two hours and 11 minutes. And we did hit 300 millimeters a second as the printer did show on the screen there. So just for fun, I think I want to print this nutshell opener or nutcracker, whatever you want to call it. So it's going to take an hour only. It's not very big and not that much filament. So maybe we'll just use the same filament and finish it out. So we'll click on print and we're heating all up. And looks like this time it's only heating up this bed here. So I guess it does remember that we didn't use these last time. So it keeps them off, which is nice. And we got a really large picture here of what we're about to print. 